Very dark in here right now. It is very dark. Camera's up to 10,000 ISO. F2.8, 1 over 40 shutter, 10,000 ISO is what it's at. Looks outstanding. Wow, it's outstanding. Very awesome. This is just flat up dark. Flat up dark and it's showing up dark right now. No surprise there. I'm going to bump the ISO up even more. Actually, no, it's not the I got to get the functions right. ISO up to 20,000 on this. 20,000. Still pretty dark. Let's see if I can uh, mess with things more. So the shutter's at 1 over 30 now. So 1 over 30 shutter. And I'm going to bump the ISO up even more. ISO is at uh, 32,000. I mean, it's got to start looking grainy by now. It, it, this is just exceedingly dark space that I'm filming. You know, matter of fact, I can barely even see what I'm filming right now with my own eyes. When I look at this with my own eyes, what I see in the viewfinder is brighter than what I see in my own eyes. That's pretty freaking impressive right there. I'm just testing out my new Sony A7S camera. This is a Canon F 2.8L macro lens that I'm using right now. So this camera is proving to excel in the low light just like it was promised it would. It's proving just like it, it was promised. Um, let's move over to a brighter spot. See this right here is a, this is still dim what I'm looking at right now. Of course it's a lot brighter than what I was just looking at. So I'm going to lower the ISO quite a bit. Now the ISO is at 800 right now. See what that looks like. Windows pretty bright. Camera's dark. But this whole room is dark. This is a dark room. And the ISO is it's F2.8 ISO 800 right now. I can stand to bump it up a bit. The shutter speed is at 40 is what I have it at now. I'm going to bump the ISO up. Nope. Uh, see, I gotta learn the settings. I'm bumping the... No, I'm gonna put the camera at f3.2. f3.2, I'm bumping the ISO up. This is at 2,000. 2,500 is what it's at now. So 2,500 in a dim room looks pretty good. The camera's at f3.2. I mean, it's pretty bright. This is a sick camera. This thing is fucking sick. I love this. I'm loving this so far. It's got the zebra striping. I can see that this is way blown out because I got the zebra striping. So that's an exquisite camera. This is a, a picture I took with my old camera that I replaced with this. My old camera was very old. It was a Canon T1i. I just finally upgraded to the Sony A7S. I want something that can do video and photography and this is the one. And this thing is just kicking ass in low light. My god. This thing is kicking ass in low light. And, you know, the shutter, the uh, ISO can go way up from here. I'm only at 2,500. I keep messing the, the wrong setting. And I'm at, at 3.2. ISO is up to 6,400 right now. 6,400. Very dimly lit room. It looks exquisite. Oh, this is bright, as you can see. So I'll bring it down. Now it's at 1,000. And 1,000 is still a little bit bright. Now one thing I do not like about this camera, something that everybody has said so far, the battery sucks. The battery life, I mean, I am watching the battery just get drained. And I know that part of the reason is because I'm using the Metabones adapter for the Canon lenses. But the battery is just draining right now. And there goes my phone. Get that later, that's my father calling, I'll get that later. Right here. This goes to my attic. There is no light in there at all. It's going to be completely black in the attic. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what I can do with this. It's completely black in here, just as expected. Okay, so let's see. Keep the shutter at 1 over 40. I'm going to go right to f2.8. Uh, ISO, I'm going to bump that the hell up. Now, I just brought the ISO up to... 4,000 and I can't I can't even see inside here 
It's so friggin' dim. But the camera, you know, I know the ISO is 4,000. The image is going to be kind of grainy. The fact that it can see it all in here is friggin' impressive. Because I cannot see any of this with my own eyes. I can't. This thing can see something that I can't see with my own freaking eyes. Just show you how bright it is and how dark it is in here. I'm going to leave the settings the same and point it towards the window. Look at that. That's just so washed out because it's so dark in here. I have my macro lens on. I probably shouldn't. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm walking away. I can see in there. Oh my god. That is just so great. This is a great camera. I'm going to switch lenses to see what I can do in a minute. All right. Well, now I'm testing out my wide angle lens. I'm using the Meta Bones adapter and a quick disappointment as I cannot zoom all the way out with my wide angle lens because the Meta Bones adapter shows the sides. That's a very quick disappointment right there. Uh, I guess I can't go that wide with the Meta Bones adapter. But that's not a knock on this camera though. You better believe that. I mean, look at that. Ooh, let me see. I don't know if this is on auto or manual focus. Uh, the autofocus appears to not be working with the uh, Meta Bones adapter. Uh, auto, yeah, auto focus appears to be just disabled. I mean, whatever. I'm not a huge auto focus guy anyway, but still, I would like the option. But you now the Meta Bones adapter is supposed to, um, you know, withhold the functions of the Canon lenses, and it appears to not be doing that right now. That that is disappointing. Uh, I don't know. I literally just started using this, so I could be using it wrong. But I don't think I am. I'm pretty good with technology. I'm not the type that, you know, kind of screws up and doesn't do things right. This is uh, set to auto, so I'm going to switch that to manual so I don't damage the gears when I'm focusing. And this is f4.5. F-stop on this isn't really even going to matter. I mean, this is F10. I don't even know why I would go to F10. Wow. Oh, I'm, lo I'm loving this camera. I love the, the quick manual controls on it. Great. I love that. So I can, I can just see with the zebra striping. I'm, I, you know, I know I'm washing the windows out a bit, which is fine. I don't really mind that. Shutter speed. I think I just, uh, looks like I just lost the ability to, uh, to control the, uh, f-stop on the lens. Yeah, I mean, that's the consequence of the Meta Bones adapter. I'm gonna have to get Sony lenses for it. The Meta Bones adapter really, I don't know, it's kind of finicky. The autofocus was working on this lens, but it was slow as shit. I just shut it off. The vibration control was causing issues. I just put it all on manual. And I appeared, to, I just lost the f-stop on it. So I'm going to try to hit, I don't know, reset it. Okay, I just shut it off and turned it back on. I got the f-stop back. But that was kind of a nuisance losing it like that. I have the f-stop up at 45 right now. It's pretty high. You know, the background should be in focus. The f-stop being that high. Hopefully it's working. No, it's not. It's not working. F-stop is not working. Meta Bones adapter is just not working right here. It's kind of a nuisance. Nope. See, the F-stop goes across the screen, but it ain't working. I know it's not because it's not doing anything. That's an issue. This right here is just my little rinky-dink lens that came with the old camera that I bought. Now, the f-stop is working on this. It would not work on my nice zoom lens, which I'm kind of upset about. It is something I heard about the Meta Bones adapter that it's finicky and it doesn't work right all the time. I mean, I'm going to have to get used to that, I guess. I am going to buy Sony lenses, but I, you know, I don't really want to. Yeah, see, this lens has this issue. I wonder if it's because the lens isn't full frame. I'm not sure. Maybe that zoom lens I have isn't full frame. I don't even remember. I bought it used. Maybe that's the problem I'm having uh, with this. Because I know this isn't a full frame lens, that's for sure. Now let's see, where's the zoom on this? It's been a while since I even had this one on manual. This is just a little rinky-dink lens. You know, Honky-tonk, rinky-dink.
And it's a nice camera. I gotta say, it's a nice camera. I'm at f7.1 with this. So I, I'm bringing it down. F4 is about as low as it'll go. Yeah, it's... I'm definitely gonna have to get Sony lenses with it because I don't like the the way the Meta Bones adapter, um, you know, if changes the lens. And, and of course, it just decided not to work with one of them, which I don't like at all, which I heard that can be an issue. Now, so far, all of my issues with this camera with the Meta Bones adapter, um, so in other words, there's really no issues with the camera itself. I mean, I think the camera's performing exquisitely. This is at 64,000 ISO. Holy hell, that's a high ISO right there. I mean, this is gonna, this has to be grainy as shit. It has to be. This is at 51,200. I mean, if this ain't grainy, then, I mean, this is, this is like three times, no, this is like five times brighter than what I can see with my own eyes. You don't need a freaking light with this camera. I do wedding videography. I'm not even going to use a video light anymore because this thing is brighter than my eyes. I mean, that's just amazing. If you saw how dark this room is, I mean, let's see if I can show you. Let's see. Yeah, ah, a little more. You know, that's about how dark this room is right now. As for me looking at it with my own eyes, this is what it looks like. Maybe a little, little darker. Maybe even like that. Yeah, matter of fact, that's even closer. This is at F, uh, ISO 5000. This is what the room looks like with my eyes. And I can make it look like this or even brighter. I mean, this is at uh, two, 204,000. Right, that's going to be grainy. 64,000, I don't know, is that gonna be grainy? But I mean, it looks friggin' nice as shit. And look at this, I mean, this is just pl practically black. Um, the way I'm looking at it, when I look at it, my eyes, is it's just black. I, can bear I can't see any details with my eyes with the camera. I mean, this is, this is exquisite. Oh my God, exquisite is the word. And so is this, this is black. I mean, I'm looking at a black thing right now that I can't even see with my own eyes, but and this is the first time I've ever had a camera that had this good of low light capability. I am absolutely ecstatic of the low light capability of this camera. It is even better than I thought it would be. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. And I thought it was going to be good. And it's just great. It's outstanding. It is dark in here. I mean, you don't understand how dark it is in here. And this is a window. You can see how blown out the window is. So this just gives you an idea of how dark it was in that other room. Now, I just brought the ISO down to 4000. And, you know, that's pretty, pretty all right. Ugh, this camera's sick. This is a sick, sick little monkey of a camera. I'm still getting that, uh, you know, that edge flare, it looks like. Man, I don't know. I don't like the Metal Bones adapter. I don't like it. Look at that. That's no good. And neither is that. The Metal Bones adapter is killing me here. I'm not liking it. I must, something else must be found for this adapter. Some other alternative here. Let me see if I can... This is the lens opened all the way up. I didn't even know it was doing that before. You know, it must, you know, it must be because it's not a full frame lens. It, maybe it's not the Metabones adapter, although the Metabones adapter really is giving me other issues. Of course, with one of the lenses just flat up not working. Oh, wow, that's a good camera. Oh my god. I spent good money on this and I'm freaking glad I did because this thing is just, this is a rock solid camera. This is a freaking camera right here. The Sony A7S is the camera. I'm using Canon lenses with the Metabones adapter right now. I'm going to be getting Sony lenses because I don't like the Metabones adapter. But, I don't know, this is my review. I mean, this is just a, my quick initial um, observations, I suppose. I'm recording at 30p, 50 megabytes per second. Battery life is atrocious. I'm already at 50%. I've barely even been recording. Um, low light is phenomenal. The amount of settings I've seen, uh, the amount of manual settings for recording, pretty phenomenal. It's a damn good camera. Wow. I'll, I'm really liking it. I waited a while for this to come from Amazon. I'm glad I did. Here's that room again. Brightening it right up, 64,000 ISO. Yep, 64,000. And I mean, it's just, it's so bright. I can't believe how bright it is. Okay, everybody, I guess I'm gonna call this my review for now. It's gonna, 
I guess it's gonna finish for now. Look how bright this room is. Oh, God, I can't get enough of this thing. I cannot get enough of this camera. I can't, and the zebra striping is just wonderful. I love the zebra striping. It just really helps me to keep things from getting blown out. Oh, God, I haven't had a camera zebra striping in a while. I missed it, I really missed it. And it's a great camera. Okay, I'm signing off. Have a good one, everybody.